A wage raise means a corresponding rise in prices, unless productivity is increased proportionately. What do you want, a guy with four arms? Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Vlogmas 2021, where we drop one video every day until December 25th. Now, in this video, we're gonna cover the topic of inflation. There's been some news articles that have come out and some major headlines in the news that have stated that we have hit a 40 year high in inflation. We have, which means we haven't seen these hikes and increases in inflation since I was born, 1982. Man, when I say that date, I feel so old. We're at a 6.8% inflation. And so there's a problem there. Uh, a lot of the people in Congress are saying that this is transitory. Transitory is a word that they use to try to say, ah, eh, don't worry about it too much. This is going to pass. But recently there's been some, uh, some big names in Congress who have been trying to step back from that term and saying, well, actually it may not be transitory. It may be here for a little while, especially going into at least spring of next year, 2022. Now there's a problem associated with this when inflation goes up, here's what happens. It's almost like a, like a death spiral that takes place. The employee hears that prices are going to go up in normal everyday uh, consumer products, food and shelter and used cars, new cars and gas prices. And so the employee goes to the employer and says, hey boss, I want a raise. I want a bigger raise than you gave me last year because I need to compensate for the huge hike in inflation that's about to take place. So the boss, eh, even though even though they may hesitate, they understand you know what's happening in the economy. So they say, okay, I'll give you a higher raise this time. But what they don't tell you is on the back end, they're gonna charge the customer or they're gonna increase the price of the products and services and pass that increase off to the customer. So what happens? Because the employee asks the employer for a raise because they think inflation is gonna be high, the employer then upcharges and brings the price of their consumer goods up and passes the buck to the, uh, to the consumer, which ends up in the long run causing inflation to go up. And so it's like a double-edged sword, right? You're asking for something that's not there yet, but because you asked for it now, you're gonna get what you asked for. And it's this vicious cycle that takes place in the economy and it's it's a psychological thing that happens it, and it's all caused because of fear. And so inflation is not a good thing over a long period of time. It's actually, it's actually very damaging to our society because everything gets more expensive. And even though the cost of goods go up, the median salary, uh, the, the wages, the income of what we make as middle-class America doesn't go up as fast. Our dollar, what we what we normally would pay, you know, one dollar for is now two, three, four, five, six dollars now, which means our dollar lost purchasing power. Okay? Inflation, inflation causes your dollar, your hard-earned dollar, to be worth less in the future. Okay, so your Starbucks that cost you $4.50 now is going to cost you $8.25 in a year from now because inflation is going up. What you used to pay at the pump, you know, $2.50 is going to be uh, $5.25 in a year from now if inflation rates continue to go up as fast as they've been accelerating. And so there's a lot of different indicators and a lot of different uh, charts and graphs that these experts, the economists look at, which we won't go into in this particular video. But if you are into that, please definitely drop a comment down below and we can get into the nitty gritty and really nerd out uh, on this type of stuff. But I will tell you what the Federal Reserve actually does when inflation goes up high. So what they, what they end up doing is they raise interest rates, right? So right now we're at an all-time low in our interest rates, going to buy homes and so on and so forth. So what they're going to do is they're going to increase, increase the interest rates, which they think is going to drive down inflation, okay? Because right now in the economy, people are sitting on cash. They're sitting on money and they're taking that money. They're going out and they're spending more. They're going out what, what they saved up during the pandemic, not going out to eat, not going out to the malls, not going out shopping. 
They saved it and now they're going in the economy now and actually using it. So there's a, a surge of money going into the economy, which is actually driving prices up. And the other part of this puzzle or this pie is there's supp a supply chain issues right now. So there's a huge demand in the market. The supply is not meeting that demand, which is causing, it's driving prices to go up. Some of the things that we're seeing right now is used cars even are at an all time high. Do you know how many notices I've gotten in the mail of uh, dealerships requesting me to sell them back my used car that I purchased from them years ago and they want to buy it at a higher price than what I sold it for. It's absolutely crazy. I saw a news article recently that dealerships that people are buying cars over FaceTime. They're not even coming to the dealership to test drive or sit down. They, they don't want to waste any time and they want to lock in their new vehicle, new or used vehicle before prices go up even further. And so here's the problem. We don't see that these prices are going to be going down anytime soon, especially in 2020, uh, 2021. Next year in 2022, the, the Fed and the government, they're saying that it's going to slowly ease back to where it needs to be. And then some people are saying we could be in this, this rush, this, this issue with inflation for the next two to three years. And so I'm not an economist. I don't know hundred percent. I'm just gathering facts from different places. If you found this uh, video interesting, leave a comment down below. Let's get a dialogue started. I also have a Patreon group. If you're interested in uh, becoming part of the community, supporting this channel, I'd love and be honored if you can click on the Patreon uh, link down below. And again, drop some comments down below. Let's get a dialogue going. You know, all the other things to do, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you did find value in this video and until the next one, Make sure you live well, laugh a little louder, and learn to be a better you. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.